we're going to be speaking about group cues and how groups can make your life so much easier. Um, so let's check this out right now. So in our previous video, we added all of these individual tracks, okay? Uh, what's going to happen with this is that in a real show, uh, you want to bring in your uh, pre-show music. Yes, you could copy and paste this from another workspace. Uh, in my case, I'm changing shows constantly. Every venue has a different version of the show, uh, different music, different themes, depending on where I'm performing. I work on Disney Cruise Lines. My, my music is completely different than what I'll do in a casino and a theater on land. Um, so I'm constantly adjusting my shows. I do not want to have to worry about doing that previous video setup of all the auto follows and the volumes and all that stuff in every single time. So we're going to do this. We're going to create a group by going over here, grabbing the group, dragging the group to the uh, workspace, and then if you don't have your tracks already in the workspace, you can drag them into the group like we did before. In this case, they're already here. So we're gonna just drag them right into the group. We're gonna label the group pre-show music. Okay? Now, um, you can have already programmed the auto follow cues on those individual tracks and it will work just fine. Um, what happens when you get to the end of that? So let's say you don't want to have to have an hour of songs or let's say in my case uh, I set up my show at the theater at two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm gonna go shower and I want to go eat and come back at a little bit after doors. Well that means I gotta come back early to start the pre-show music. So there's two ways around this. Um, the first way is by actually just looping it nonstop, most efficient way of doing it. So you're going to go here and you're going to fire the group this time. So you select not the individual file, but the group. And of course you have a little window, a drop down window here. So you can go ahead and open that or close that drawer, which makes the workspace so much easier to follow. So there's your pre-show music. If I click it, You can see all the tracks are playing, finishing, and playing the next track automatically. Now, if you drop the window down, you can see they are playing perfectly. When it gets to the very end of that list, it's going to stop. So, how do we fix that? It's very simple. We're going to go over here to where it says Start Cue. We're going to grab the Start Cue. We're going to bring the Start Cue right to the bottom of that list. Okay? Now, we're going to grab the very first track and we're going to bring it and put it right on top of that start cue. That is telling this cue to start that. So if I play the very last song in that group, watch what happens. Song is about to finish. It immediately goes back to the top and restarts the entire group. This will play all day until you finish it. Fantastic. Okay, so that is how you do group cues, and that is how you do auto follows. Uh, the next video, I'm going to show you way more details about how group cues can work and the different settings for groups and different ways you want to use them. But that's a perfect way to set up your pre show music.